Yeah, no, nothing going on here. Just a guy tr climbing on a bobcat to tear down a beam. You know, it happens um, never. As you can see, an opening just ma was made in, in the, into the beam. Um, seems that the beam has actually come down and they're tearing down the plaster on the inside. There, there is no safety precautions of any kind here. Um, this is right outside my motel room and I'm trapped. And there's, you can see there's, there's no shoring also of any kind um, to hold up the, the concrete floor that's above me. And yet they're tearing down the beam. Um, this, this is amazing. I, I do have it on, on word from uh, the Salvation Army desk here at, at the motel that the city ordered this. Um, it's, it's much safer to have an occasional <laughs> falling debris from these beams than it is what they're doing right now. Uh, this guy's finally got a mask on. It's different. <laughs> didn't all day yesterday and didn't earlier this morning, but he's got a mask on now. When I called the Salvation Army desk up front in the lobby, um, I, I told them about the lack of shoring. They said that was going to be done after. Um, that's supposed to be done beforehand so that there's n n nothing happens. <laughs> the deflection uh, from after the beam is removed is, very, is quite noticeable. Um, I can't can't really show it now, but I'll, I'll show it later as I, as I, when, I, when I'm able to get outside. Um, but I, I can't I can't show it now because it's I'd, I'd have to be out on the on this uh, walkway. You can see there's there's no caution tape at this other end preventing anybody from walking right into this. We've already started on taking off this, but you can see, well, I can see the beam is still there, still in place. See that there's a gap in, right in between where the plaster has been, been removed. The other, other plaster is just hanging there. No, there's not enough. There's not any barricade caution tape at the other end either, preventing anybody from walking in from that side. This is truly bizarre. Here comes our bobcat again to take down more of the beam or take it away. Oh, 
wish the lighting were better. <laughs> it's it, you can see it's a little dark. It's often you just see shadows, um, but there is a there is concrete beam that is in that opening on both sides to be taken away in between the columns. At least the columns are staying. It's a bright thing. <laughs> Gotta look on the bright side. Have asked Percora from the city for the their order. I hope this this is supposed to be an order from the city to tear down these beams. Um, knowing, and this is also a city COVID motel. <laughs> the city is not the owner, but uh, they they do funnel the money from FEMA. Um, to the owner and to the Salvation Army and to the uh, Colorado Coalition for the One Percent, you you can you can hear them with the sledgehammers up above. Still no hard hats, falling debris, OSHA. <laughs> Climbing up on the bobcat again while, while someone above him is literally swinging with a sledgehammer. He's literally using a pry bar with that concrete beam right above him. And if that, that that concrete beam could could easily fall right on him doing that. The guy standing on the bobcat is now trying to pry the concrete beam away onto his bucket that he's standing on. This should be this should all be done from scaffolding on really both sides. Fumble. <laughs> God. <laughs> I used to work for a large professional demolition contractor when I when I first entered the the business. This is not it. <laughs> The beams are, are attached um, to metal angles. Um, don't exactly know how the welding is done, but uh, you can see it wiggle from, there's a concrete angle that's in that column where you can, um, there, is, there is rust around it. 
And I'm sure these angles need to be replaced as well. Professional removal would have taken a, a saw and sawed right up through there with, and had chains around the, the, the area that's being removed. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. You can see he's, he, he's now standing on a board on an angle that's up against the railing while he's sledgehammering away. Um, it's bad enough to be using a ladder as a, as, a, as a work platform, but a very slippery board on an angle is just, who, there, there's, there's no supervision here. I mean, it's just these, there's one guy above, one guy, <laughs> And the and the bobcat and the one guy standing on this angled board. All three have put themselves in extremely dangerous positions just for a damn dollar. And the, their their pry bar, their is uh, has been been through it a few times. You could the it's quite bent in many different ways, but it's got a, a big angle on it, a big curve on it, and uh, <laughs> oh my, this is happening right out front front of my door, me inside. They didn't, they didn't knock on my door to warn me of this. They just went ahead and did it. Salvation Army is saying they knocked on doors Sunday to tell us I was in, I was here all day Sunday. I was not told of a single thing. I do notice that they've strapped um, with wire two by fours to the railings so that they can have better footing on top of the railings. Otherwise, it's just a two inch railing. It's secured only by uh, 